if your little robot 3 is exhibiting concerns of no cat timer when cat enters the globe you might have a weight sensor issue this tutorial will show you how to replace the weight sensor and calibrate it there are plenty of disassembly and reassembly videos out there so I will just get straight to the point the tools that you will need to perform this task are the voltmeter as you see connected to the weight sensor a 9mm in wrench an awl or exacto blade or equivalent for poking and of course your replacement weight sensor if your weight sensor is not functioning properly this is one way that you can test the weight sensor for proper ohms reading as you can see the ohm meter is reading 722 ohms which is well out of spec you should see anywhere between 400 and 550 ohms which is in spec anything higher than that is going out of spec the first thing that you want to do before unloosening the weight foot nut is to stuff something into the crevice of the weight foot on the bottom of the unit use a piece of tissue rolled up and put this in here and add pressure to stuff it in that way when you loosen the nut the bolt will not fall out of the weight foot this is a huge time saver and frustration saver as well as having the bolt fall out when you're trying to put the nut back on can be a royal pain if you do not have a volt ohm meter to test your sensors resistance you can always use a method which will tell you how many turns the nut is on the bolt. What you do is you take your 9mm in wrench and you tighten it and count how many rotations you have. In my case I'm using quarter turns which is already full one full turn and I will continue until the nut bottoms out. It stopped so I have two full turns when you put the new weight sensor on you what you will do is you will bottom the nut out completely and then you will take it and you will back it out two full turns to unfasten the weight nut return it counterclockwise until it gets near the top of the weight foot bolt when that happens you will need to put pressure on the bottom of the base unit so that the spring tension is relieved because if you do not do this your nut is going to go flying upwards and you might have to go look for it afterwards now that the white foot nut is almost completely unthreaded you push on the unit and rotate it till it comes off now that it's off gently release and now your spring tension has been released and you can remove your weight plate and your nut exposing your weight sensor to remove your weight sensor you just gently lift up because it is adhered to the plastic gently lift up and peel it off then important slide it to the left where it can be removed before installing your weight sensor you want to make certain that your weight foot does not have any damage you want to look right here make certain it is square and even because if it is not it will restrict the free movement of the weight sensor foot and cause issues once you have your weight foot positioned under the bottom half of the base you now want to make certain that the weight sensor surface is clean and free of debris. Remove the adhesive backing off of the new weight sensor. Once you have the adhesive backing off of your brand new sensor, you need to flip it over and you need to insert it carefully into the retainer. kind of hard to do this one-handed but 
it works. Once you have the sensor centered in the pocket, gently press down on it to hold the adhesive in place. And now your sensor is in, installed and in place. The next thing you want to do is place your weight transfer plate back on the litter robot. Make certain this rubber bumper is clear of any debris. Just give it a wipe with your thumb, that'll work. And then you want to place that rubber bumper directly over the brand new sensor. Also make certain that it is in place in this little notch right here. And now it's ready to put the weight foot nut back on. Next is to compress the weight foot spring and to install the nut on far enough to secure it safely. To do that, push down until the bolt comes through. And then place your nut over the bolt and turn clockwise. Enough to have that secure. Now you can lift up on it and you have tension on the plate now. Now you can use your end wrench or equivalent to tighten the nut. Now that the nut has been threaded on the weight foot bolt until it has stopped, you can back it off the amount of turns that you need. In my case, it will be two full turns. I will go in quarter turn increments. So you turn counterclockwise. One full turn. Two full turns. At this point you are roughed in and you can use it as is or if you have the volt ohm meter you can test the sensor to make certain you get the lowest ohms possible. Now that the volt ohm meter has been attached to the new weight sensor and with the rough setting of the weight foot nut you can see that the setting is close to the average weight sensor's ohm reading. The next step is you want to fine tune by rotating the weight foot nut to achieve the lowest ohms possible. With your 9mm in wrench or equivalent we are now going to adjust the weight foot nut to achieve the lowest possible ohm reading. First I will try tightening to see what the reading gives me. Okay, so it's going up, so now I must go the other way. Now it's going up higher, now I'm going to back it up. This thing will trick you because you often got to push on the weight sensor. Got to push down on it to get the spring tension. Now bring it back and it'll give you the reading back where it was before. So now I'll rotate it again. And I'll push on it. I'll reset it. Okay, so I'll go back to tightening. Push on it. It'll be fickle and tricky, but you'll figure it out, get a feel for it when you tighten it and loosen it. After spending a few minutes of fine tuning the weight foot nut, I was able to get the reading down to 521 ohms. The weight sensor will range anywhere between 400 and 550 ohms. So this one is a little lower than average, which is okay and it'll work just fine once the little robot has been soft calibrated. At this point, reassemble your litter robot. There are plenty of tutorials out there on how to do it, so I'm not gonna go over that. But once you get it assembled, then we will do the soft calibration. Once your Little Robot 3 has been reassembled and is powered on and at the ready, it is time to perform the soft calibration. To do so, press and hold the reset and empty buttons for about 6 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
At this point, you'll see the cap timer flash fast and it should return to a ready light. If it doesn't, as you can see here, just push reset and it will. At this point, you are ready to wait test your little robot for functionality.